Have you ever heard of Masaru Emoto? Masaru Emoto is a researcher in Japan who was studying water and the impact that words had on water. And when someone said a positive or a negative word over it, so hate or love and the chemical structure, like the actual structure, like snowflakes have a structure and they have a design. It's really fascinating because some of the water droplets were really beautiful and others were jagged and inconsistent. So the water that had lovely, nice things set over it had much prettier designs than the water that had negative, hateful words set over it. So water actually has been found to have memory. We can think of how we can apply this to our day-to-day -day life. Um, I know that there is a practice in Judaism to say a little prayer over water before you drink it, and I think that this might be kind of related. But also you can do this when you drink water, you can say things over your water that you consume so that you're getting those benefits of that like positive energy. But it also gives us an idea of how powerful our words are because if it has that impact on water and we, our bodies are 70% water, then think of how saying negative things, hearing negative things, think of how strong words are and the connection to our health and how it impacts us. So when I heard this, it made me really think about how I want to talk about things, what I want to say when I'm eating, when I'm drinking. So just think of being more mindful when you speak because if it has, if words have that impact on water, think of the impact that words have on your physical body and what happens to you. You're the reason that I have funky videos.